going to show everyone what we got going on on the stove. We've got uh, pork canning. We've got water going for pasta. I've got sauce heating just here. We've got chicken cutlets going in here. And we've got some pork lard rendering down there. The real video today is in here because we are making sourdough sandwich loaf. So pause it on the screen if you're gonna make this with us. You're gonna need some active sourdough starter, honey, salt, filtered water, some butter, flour, and that's it. You're also gonna need a little time because you're gonna make this at night and then make the loaf the next day. So the first thing you're gonna do is start with our active starter and we need a full cup of this. Whenever I use my such starter, I just go ahead and take care of it right then and there. So I'm getting this fed and stirred in and we'll put this back. This is gonna take two and a half cups of room temperature water and we're gonna get this stirred together and fed some honey. I'm not really gonna measure, I'm just gonna do two blobs. This is actually my friend's honey, so this is Sacramen Farms honey, not our honey. We traded for some, did like a little taste test. Theirs actually tasted different than ours. Theirs tasted more like flowers, whereas ours was really fruity. Here is the stove coming together really good. It's been 10 minutes. I added a little bit more flour and I'm gonna give it another two more minutes of kneading. Oh my God, you guys, look what I woke up to. Learn from my mistake and use a big bowl because this eight cups of flour is gonna rise a lot. It's two loaves of bread. I'm doing it in my huge loaf pan, but we gotta get this going. Just survey the scene too, because not only is that exploded, but it's a mess in here. So what did I do? Clean my living room. We are gonna get what's left. I got all the hard bits off. So this is still ripping. Did you see that? It's tearing. So that means our gluten structure isn't set up enough. So we're gonna need to knead this until you can pull it apart and have it stretch instead of rip. So I'll show you when we get there. And I'm kind of just taking the edges and just going to the middle. And then we're going to shape this. So right now you can actually cut this in half or you can knead it as one. Because if you're doing it in two loaf pans, you're going to knead it in two pieces. I'm keeping it in the one because I have a double loaf pan. So a couple slap and folds too. Once you can kind of like get it under control, you can really slap it down and fold it over on itself. This could take a little bit. It's a big dough. I prefer this mat so you can spin it around rather than have it be stationary. So I've got the dough in here. I'm gonna give this an egg wash. You could also do a milk wash to bread is really good. It just gives it like a nice little finish. I have so much going on in Dishland. I'm not even gonna get my basting brush out. I have clean hands, so I'm literally just gonna rub it on with my hand. You could put water in this or you don't need to. Just don't need a lot. With bread, you gotta be patient because it takes a long time for it to rise and you gotta be willing to do dishes because dishes. I'm not gonna let this go to waste. I'm gonna see if I can just fry this up in a pan like you would a flatbread for me and Kev for breakfast. Let's give it a try. With that aggressive dough, I went ahead and made some flatbreads with it and it's really good. All right, we are gonna get this bread going. I got the egg wash on it. This is gonna cook for three, at 375 for 45 minutes. And this is just gonna go right in here. I'm gonna check mine in 30 minutes. I am checking the bread and you know what? I'm gonna give this another five minutes. So it'll do the full 45 and it'll be done. Hope you guys enjoyed making a loaf bread with us today. Maybe next time we'll try our hand at an artisanal sourdough.